Hi guys, and welcome back for day five of Wine Advent Calendar. Let's see what we're going to get today. Let's find number five. Merry and Bright series, and it is a Pinot Grigio. And this is what the bottle looks like. I love the little festive Christmas decorations. And let's see what cheese we're getting today. A Mediterranean Gouda. Okay, it looks like it's got some spices and stuff in there. So this seems like it's gonna be interesting. I'm excited about this Gouda. So let's get into it. Okay, now I tend to like Pinot Grigio, so this should be a pleasant experience. Y'all thought I was about to drink out this bottle, didn't you? I'm classy based, honey. I got a glass. Oh, I didn't show y'all my glass. Dollar Tree special, honey. okay it tastes like cheap pinot grigio like this tastes cheaper than that winking owl brand that they sell at aldi that's like 2.99 or whatever it is this tastes cheaper than that honey this tastes like Beaujolais. that's what fred sanford used to drink all right let's get into this mediterranean gouda Let's see what she's giving. Now this is soft, it's not hard like that other mess we had the other day. Okay, I could get down with this. This is really good. It has those like Mediterranean like spices. If you've ever had like that like Greek olive mix or whatever, like the spices that are in there, that's what this tastes like. Really good. Try them together. Okay, okay, yep. Yeah. The cheese does enhance this. It makes it taste a little less cheap. I can't tell y'all no notes I pick up because it just tastes like cheap Pinot Grigio. Bargain basement Pinot Grigio is what this tastes like. Mm. I mean, it's not terrible, but it's not really good either. Like, honestly... This tastes like, if you've ever had the Winking Owl brand from Aldi, that's like their cheapest brand of wine that they sell at the store. It's like $2.99, seriously, I think. This tastes cheaper than that. And a lot of these wines that have come out of this box taste like they are maybe lower budget. Like... It's the stuff that's left over in the vat after they make Winking Owl and they just drained the rest of the vat and mixed everything together and kind of made some Franken wines, maybe. I don't know, child, but these are just meh. Mm, the only one that's been good, really good so far is that Brut Rosé on the first day. And I think that's how they get you. They're like, we're going to put the good one on the first day to 
sucker them in, make them think that they got something good going here. Then for the rest of the box, we're going to give them bargain basement wine. Boujolet, honey. What Fred Sanford and Rollo used to be drinking on Sanford and Son. Anyway, y'all, hopefully we get something better tomorrow. Come back and see me. And until next time, like, comment, and subscribe. Bye. Bye.